Hello dear viewers, welcome to my presentation. This is Lavanya, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, Nimla College for Women, Coimbatore. If I was to suggest you one language that can help you to do a wide variety of tasks, that would be Python. Yes, we are going to learn basics of Python. Since the evaluation of Python, a lot of things have changed, a lot of operators have been introduced. For non-computer students, let me tell you what is programming. Just like we use English, Tamil, Telugu to communicate with each other like that, we use a programming language like C, C++, Java, Python to communicate with the computer. Programming is a way to instruct the computer to perform various tasks. Welcome to Python Basics. Let's see what is Python. Python is a high-level interpreted programming language that is easy to learn and use, which feels like reading simple English. This pseudocode nature of Python makes it easy to learn and understandable by beginners. Python was created by Guido van Rosem in the late 1980s and named after the British company Monty Python. Let us know where Python is used and what a Python can do. Python can be used in web development, software development, mathematics, system scripting and etc. What a Python can do? A Python can be used on a server to create web applications. Python can be used alongside software to create workflows and also it can be used to, to connect a database system and also can read and modify files. Python can be used to handle big data and perform complex mathematics. Python can be used for rapid prototyping or for production ready software development. And there are so many uses of Python. There are so many programming language, but why Python? Because it works on different platforms and it is a platform friendly language. Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry, Pi, etc. Python has a simple syntax similar to the English language and also the syntax that allows developers to write programs with fewer lines than some other programming languages. Python runs on interpreter systems meaning that code can be executed as soon as it is written. This means the prototyping can be very quick. Python can be treated in a procedural way, an object-oriented way or a functional way. This is why Python is preferred by most of the software developers. Now let us get on technically. Data types and variables. Python has several built-in data types including integers, floating point numbers, complex numbers, strings, and booleans. In addition to these built-in types, Python also has several data structures such as list, tuples, dictionaries, and sets. Next comes variables. In Python, variables are used to store values. Unlike some other programming languages, Variables in Python do not need to be declared with a specific data type. Variables is the name given to a memory location in a program, so it contains the stored values. To assign a value to a variable, we just give equal sign. For example, x is equal to 5, where x stores the value 5. Next comes the identifier. So the name given by the user is said to be identifier, like our parents give name to us so that they can easily find out, right? That is said to be identifier. Let us move on to operators and expressions. Why operators are very important in Python? If I talk in mathematical perspective, operator is something which acts 
on operand to produce as results. There are four types of operators arithmetic, assignment, comparison, and logical. Where arithmetic operations, as we know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. And a logical operator is nothing but AND or NOT. And comparison is whether it is equal to or greater or lesser. So assignment operator is nothing but plus or equal to, minus or equal to, which combine arithmetic operation with assignment. In every programming language, there will be a control statement for a program as followed for Python 2, conditional statements and loops. Conditional statements are used to execute a certain block of code if a certain condition is met. In Python, the if-else statement is used for this purpose, if condition to execute if condition is true, else where it execute if condition is false. Loops are used to execute a block of code repeatedly. In Python, there are two types of loops, for loops and while loops. For item is iteratable. That code execute each time in iteratable. For while condition, it execute as long as the condition is true. Moving on to functions. A function is a group of statements performing a specific task. When a program gets bigger in size and its complexity grows, it sets difficult for a programmer to keep track on which piece of code is doing what. A function can be reused by a programmer in a given program. This function can be called any number of times anywhere in the program. Here comes lists and tuples. A list is a collection of items that are ordered and changeable. They are written with square brackets and contain any data type. Lists are mutable, meaning that their values can be changed after they are created. Whereas in tuples, a tuple is a collection of items that are ordered and unchangeable. They are written with parentheses and can contain any data type. Tuples are immutable, meaning that their values cannot be changed after they are created. Moving on to dictionaries and sets. A Python dictionary is a data structure that allows us to easily write very efficient code. In many other languages, this data structure is called a hash table because its key are hashable. Wherein dictionary in Python, there are five methods, get, hash key, items, keys. Get key returns the value of the specified key and hash key returns true if the key exists in the dictionary. Items will return a list of dictionary items in format pairs. Keys returns a list containing all the keys in the dictionary. Moving to sets, sets are unordered collection of unique elements. Sets are created using curly braces or the set function. Sets can be used for mathematical operations like union, intersection, and differences. Modules and packages in Python. Python supports modules and packages which allow code to be organized and reused according to multiple projects. There are a lot of built-in modules in Python. Some of the important ones are collections, data time, logging, math, numpy, os, pip, sys, and time, and so on. The Python standard library contains, well, over 200 modules, although the exact number varies between distributions. File handling in Python. Python provides several functions to create, read, write, and delete files. The open function is used to open a file and returns file object which can be used to perform various file operations like w is to used to write to a file r mode is used to read from a file a mode is used to append to a file 
Python also provides several methods to manipulate files such as close, read, write, see, and tell. It is important to remember to close the file object after the programming operation on it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope everyone got an idea about what is Python. Thank you.